Kenneth Edwards, 59 years old, just shy of celebrating his 60th birthday. Most people would be down about that, but not good old Ken. He was actually looking forward to it. In fact, he was actually looking into purchasing himself a motorcycle. Now Ken, he lived in Minnow Lake, which is part of Greater Sudbury in the northern part of Ontario, Canada. Now, did you know that in Minnow Lake, that lake is so shallow that at the deepest point, if everybody went swimming at the same time, it would just flood the town? I just made that up. Now, if you needed somebody who would be willing at any point to give the shirt off their back to help somebody, you would go and you would track down Ken. He was that guy. He did everything for everybody. He was even involved with the less fortunate downtown in the downtown core by giving people rides to food banks, giving them lifts around. And his generosity is what led to this now becoming a story. Now, during this lending out a helping hand type of attitude that Ken had, he met a young man named Darcy Shepard. Darcy Shepard was 32 years old, lived a transient lifestyle, had it pretty rough growing up, suffered from ADD, other mental illnesses, drug addiction, and he was homeless as well and relied on food banks and you know local missions and things like that to survive. Now Darcy Shepard, he, he you know from the outside he didn't seem different from anybody else who was going through a hard time, you know. He, he had ADD, mental illness, and, you know, he had a little bit of a history, you know, well, a little bit more than a little bit, but, you know, got into a bunch of fights, at least 10, and uh, one of his arrests was when he actually broke his father's nose in a fight. So, you could tell this guy had some anger issues, but, you know, Ken, he, he kind of looked past that, it didn't bother him, you know, it was someone in need, so he wanted to help him, and that's exactly what he did. Now, Ken met Darcy, and not long after that, the two became pretty good friends pretty quickly like fairly quickly and Ken handed out the olive branch and invited Darcy to uh move into his home kind of help him get on his feet get off the streets you know roof over your head bed to sleep in food in your stomach and you know and then you know spread your wings little birdie and fly away so Darcy moved into Ken's house the end of February beginning of March 2017 and within two weeks Things went to complete shit. Now on March 11th, 2017, at a little past 9 o'clock in the morning, the fire department in Greater Sudbury got a call about a fire in a shed on a property on Bancroft Drive in Minnow Lake. When the fire department showed up on scene, it was Ken's house that they showed up to. And it was his shed that was adjacent to his house that was completely up in flames. So the fire department, they put it out and made a pretty grisly discovery. What they found were dismembered human remains, saws, and these remains were inside this shed underneath wooden pallets and skids and other garbage and debris. So some clear, some shit went down. Some serious shit went down. The fire department, they right away obviously contacted the police. Police showed up at the scene. Five officers actually entered Ken's residence, the house adjacent from the shed, and when they were, went inside, they found blood spattered, the, you know, there was knives, there was, it was, the bathroom was just out of a horror movie. So they know that someone was clearly murdered and dismembered in this house. And this went from a simple fire to now a full out homicide investigation. Darcy Shepard, he was nowhere to be found. He didn't want to be around the residence because of all the police presence now and fire department and coroners, every investigator. It was now a major crime scene. So he didn't want to go back there. No shit, Sherlock. Where the hell did you get your first damn clue? What Darcy did was instead he went downtown to a local mission and had himself a meal. After the meal, he then went to a friend's house. Darcy showed up at his buddy's house and said, Hey man, you'll never believe this. You know all that, that shite going down there on Bancroft Drive? That's Ken's house. And yo, guess what happened? I, I'll tell you exactly right now what happened. So Darcy, he proceeds to tell his friend that Ken suffered from leukemia and wanted to go out with a bang. He didn't want to wither away sick and die painfully. So he wanted to be murdered, killed, cremated, and have his ashes scattered in a river. Darcy proceeded to say that Ken offered him a $10 million winning lottery ticket in exchange to do this. And what was Darcy to do? He was to murder Ken. After he was done, cut him up, burn him up, 
take his ashes and scatter them in a river that Ken had already said he wanted done. And in fact, Ken apparently, for when this was all done, knew that it was going to be a shite show for Darcy, prepped them two bags and had them hidden by the railroad track so Darcy could go grab them and, you know, kind of get out of the area for a little bit. His friend clearly didn't buy the story. It's kind of like, okay there, bud. Ken didn't have leukemia. Darcy was arrested the next day on March 12, 2017. And when he went in, he first tried passing the buck off to a buddy. You know, I had nothing to do with this. It was a friend of mine. So Darcy throws his friend named Patrick Sweeney and blames the murder on him. So then two days after that, on March 14th, 2017, Darcy's buddy, Mr. Sweeney, he was arrested as well. Both of them held on murder charges on the incident towards Ken. Now after the police talked there with Mr. Sweeney for a little bit, they believed them. And they knew this was just a case of Darcy Shepard trying to get himself out of a hole that he dug himself. So in court, and you know, fast forward a bit to when it got to there, the charges were withdrawn and thrown out against Patrick Sweeney. He, he didn't kill Ken. So Darcy Shepard, he then tells the police the same tale he told his friend. He's like, you know what? Ken wanted to die. He had leukemia. He offered me a $10 million lottery ticket. That was a winner. After this was done, I was to go get those two bags by the railroad tracks, take off with this $10 million and everybody's happy that is winning 10 million dollars on the lottery that is not winning 10 million dollars on the lottery the police didn't buy his crap either and darcy shepherd would held on first degree murder indignity to a dead body arson theft under 5000 and yeah bud Hope that $10 million comes in handy to hire you that good lawyer you're going to need. Now, Darcy just had to make things even worse for him because while he was awaiting trial for the murder of Ken, this dumb shit attacks a guard at the Sudbury Jail and ends up getting himself new charges. So you're already up against murder and you attack a guard. A for effort, buddy. And on October 17th, 2019... Darcy Shepard pled guilty to second degree murder, arson, and the dignity to a dead body and was sentenced to life in prison with no chance of parole for 17 years. No one bought his lottery store. Nobody. Now what happened to Ken was Darcy Shepard, he stabbed Ken multiple times in the chest. Ken did not immediately die, pass away from this. So then Darcy took a baseball bat and he beat Ken in the skull until Ken died. He then dragged Ken's body into the bathroom where he dismembered him. He then took his remains outside and set them on fire in the shed and took off. Again, Ken did not have leukemia and this was not a plan of Ken's and Darcy Shepard is full of complete shite. And that's the story of Kenneth Edwards a 59-year-old man just shy of his 60th birthday, looking forward to getting, a, getting himself a hog and having a little bit of fun there in his golden years. Reaches out a helping hand, helps somebody, and ends up getting massacred in his own home. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in and watching another episode of Horror Lore. Please like, please comment, please share, please subscribe, and you never know, the next story I'll be telling might be about you, or somebody you know. Thanks again. Till next time.